Hi guys, it's Kimberly Snuggle Baby's Nursery and I just wanted to say hi today and let you know what I'm up to. Well, I am a student at a university and I'm studying my upper division, which is really hard. So a lot of times I'm studying like all night. It's very tough and I'm um, taking uh, systems analysis and design right now. I don't know why, I'm just doing it in case, uh, you know, anything ever happens, so I have job security, but, um, anyways, uh, I just wanted to let you know who I was, so you can get a sense of, uh, who I am and what I like to do, and I, uh, I do make, uh, baby dolls, and it's a new talent for me, I'm still learning, and I'm, I'm creating every day, always learning something new. It seems like you cannot learn everything even in a longer period of time. There's always new techniques to learn and uh, new skills that you can work on. And um, anyways, I wanted to just uh, let you know who I was and let you see me in person. Uh, I live in Virginia Beach and I'm a mom. I have uh, lots of kids. I have um, 27 year old, 26 year old. Actually, my 27 year old says it's 28, but I think it's 27. I, I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have a 27 or 28 year old son, a 26 year old daughter. I have a 20 year old daughter, and I have a 14 year old son. And I have two grandkids, and one of them lives with me. And um, anyways, so, uh, and he's four. So I've had a lot of children, and I have a lot of experience with kids, and I enjoy my kids and my grandkids immensely. I'm married, and I have a husband who's a wonderful, brilliant computer, uh, professional business intelligence and artificial intelligence guy. He's super bright, and, and we have a lot of fun together. We have a good marriage, very fortunate. He's a Christian, so that makes it even better because we're both Christians, and I think that makes our relationship a little bit better. Um, I also breed Maltese dogs, which is a side thing I've done for probably 10 years, although it's hard for me right now because of my schooling to even do that. But what I love even more is I'm very artistic, and I have been creating these little adorable baby dolls called uh, Reborn Baby Dolls. And I got into it recently when I had uh, watched this video of this woman who um, was into the baby dolls. And, and it was quite enlightening and interesting. And I, I found it fascinating that she enjoyed um, the baby dolls, that she would pay a ton of money for them, that she had rooms for them or a room in her home devoted to them and um, she was saying that she didn't know if she could be a real parent but the baby dolls allowed her to express that interest without actually having a child and in a way in a sense I think it's a kind of a therapy for her and I think it's a good thing I don't think there's anything wrong with that and um, and she has the money to buy the beautiful expensive baby dolls that look really real reborns and I think that's wonderful if, if it makes her happy and she's having fun and she's enjoying it and learning something new about being a mother and enjoy and I know these are just you know vinyl and silicone baby dolls the reborns but I think it's fun for her and a, and a great way to experience what it could be like to be a mother and maybe someday she will be a mother who knows or at least she'll have the fun hobby and, and therapy thing, the reborn baby dolls. I think it's wonderful. So um, anyways, I got into uh, painting a long time ago and um, I've always been into uh, artwork and 3D art, been into computer graphics for a long time. And I really thought it would be fun to maybe like um, try to paint one of these things. So I got one. <laughs> And my first one was terrible. It was a complete disaster. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And um, so I've been doing a lot of learning and practicing. And I'm getting 
to the point where my reading is getting pretty good and my painting is improved tremendously and I am made some really cute little babies and I'm excited to share them with you. So I hope that in the future you'll say hi and let me know how you're doing and what your interests are as far as the reborning community and anything else. Say hi anytime. Um, I am a pretty busy chick. I've got a lot on my plate as far as school and I still have children living in my home. I've got three out and two in. <laughs> so I still have a busy life, but I love to say hi to people and make new friends. And I'm on Facebook and I hope you'll say hi to me there. Uh, add me as a friend if you want under Hope Swan. Uh, that's my old business name that I used to have. Um, I had a fashion boutique called Hope Swan. It is still up and running, but um, it, I got cancer, so I had to close my actual store and um, pretty much just um, selling off the rest of my inventory. So uh, I don't have cancer anymore. I just had some uh, skin cancer on my head, but was worried, you know, it might get into my brain and whatever, but luckily it did not and took care of it um, holistically in a way. And then I had a surgery to scrape out the balance of what was left. And luckily I don't have it, thank God. But you never know, just keeping an eye on things. So um, that is why I do not uh, really um, have the boutique like I did before. Um, where I had an actual store and uh, customers that would come in and visit me. But um, anyways, I, I've gotten into this reborn thing and I'm just having the best time. I love painting. I've done oil painting for years and I love um, the challenge of making these babies look realistic and learning all of the different skills that it takes to create a reborn baby. So I hope that you'll join me and grow with me and learn with me or maybe get a baby from me and see if you enjoy it just as much as I do. I hope that you'll continue to visit me and um, say hi anytime on Facebook. Like I said, um, this is a baby doll that I was working on last night. Uh, this is, uh, she is, uh, what's her name? Uh, I'm sorry, she's Kendall. Kindle from Bountiful Baby, and I know her hair looks a little bit wild right now. I'm in the middle of rooting her. Kindle does have really big lips, and they're pretty um, pinky red, kind of. And I know they're not showing how pretty the paint is on this video, but um, in the future, I probably will try not to do them quite that pink. But hers just seemed to want to come out very pink. And uh, so anyways, this is some really higher quality mohair that I've purchased from uh, Angora Motique. And I am uh, rooting her. I spent about four or five hours last night rooting her to get to this point. And I know right now she looks kind of like one of those uh, trolls or something, like a troll baby. But I put her eyes in just to see how she would look. Her, her face is really cute. I'm going to make her kind of a little bit older baby. And I think what I'm going to do with her is I'm going to leave her hair kind of long so that she can have, I'll show you in one second here, it's going to be a surprise, pigtails, <laughs> little pigtails, um, so that her new mommy can style her hair. I'll leave it kind of long, and I think it's going to look really cute when it's all done. This mohair has a little wave to it. Um, So I got this beautiful mohair. Now I know I'm working on it right now, and it does look a little bit um, ratty right now. But that's just because I'm touching it constantly, and I don't have any conditioner in it right now. I got these beautiful little chunks of gorgeous mohair. Now I wanted to use my daughter's hair, but I did not. Oops, using little chunks of it. This is the beautiful um, medium brown sort of a wavy mohair that I got from, I'm sorry, I'm not holding that very well. Wait, beautiful wavy uh, mohair from Angora Motif. I think that's how you say it. 
<laughs> I don't even know. I'll try to put the uh, the place I got this. Um, it is really nice. It's very shiny and pretty. And hopefully after I style it and put some conditioner in it, it's going to look really gorgeous. Especially like if she has like little piggy tails. Ah! I dropped it. Hang on. Let's see if I can show you what she'll look like. I'm not going to make them this long. But what if she had... little pigtails. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh wait, I didn't even show you the right way. But I think that would look adorable if she had like, ah, I'm getting hair all over me. I'm terrible at this video photography thing. What if she had like little pigtails? Wouldn't that be just adorable? Anyways, I know she looks rough right now. I'm working on it. So I will show you her after I'm finished. So keep an eye on my YouTube channel and go to my blog at snugglebabiesnursery.com or www.snugglebabiesnursery.com and, and visit me and see what I'm up to because I really enjoy having um, people come by and say hi and give me their critiques and reviews. I'd like to see what you all think of what I'm doing. And um, if you need a reborn, get in touch. We'll, uh, I'll be... I'm working on a whole bunch right now, um, so maybe one of them will be right for you. So anyways, uh, I just want to introduce myself, um, so all you in the reborning community and all of you people out there who love reborns and reborning um, could get to know me, and I hope I get to know you too, so I'm really excited about the reborning. I think it's a lot of fun and I'm, I'm definitely loving watching all the reborn opening videos and I hope my dolls are just as happy, make you just as happy as the nicest dolls out there. So anyways, take care. God bless and I'll talk to you soon. Come by and visit me soon. Kimberly with Snuggle Babies Nursery signing out.